Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends and glad you could attend. Got another independent horror film for you today. It's from 2010, and it's called Pork Chop. Now, Pork Chop was brought to us by director Eamon Hardiman, who also co-wrote it with Zach Bassman. And basically, we get the story of a group of teenagers who are going out uh, to go camping and you have a you know just a wild, crazy time with alcohol and sex and all the drugs you go. <laughs> But these plans are, are thrown out the window as soon when they cross paths with a uh, maniac who likes to wear a pig head for a mask and dispatch his victims with various tools and weapons that are at his disposal. Pork Chop, oh, this is definitely a lower budget independent film. But since they were trying to do it in the vein of an 80s horror low budget film, uh, it, it works, okay? They were working within their budget. Now, some of the good things that I really enjoyed about this is one is this pig mask they came up with for uh, the main slasher guy. Really liked his look, this kind of grimy look, and the pig mask was really hella creepy. I mean, very, very freaky in here. And also what I enjoyed in here were the characters that they have. Now, he has two, uh, the director, Eamon Hardiman, who's done a few films past Pork Chop, has two recurring characters in there. Uh, one is Brian Agunno, and he plays one of the characters, Teddy, and the, the guys that were in this convenience store loved their characters. They were a lot of fun to watch on screen. Everybody else does well, the group of teenagers that we have. We have kind of the uh, crazy nerd guy in there. You've got uh, the uh, cheerleader in there. <laughs> You've got the, the girlfriend and, and the boyfriend in there who kind of are having a conflict. And you've also got a character named Ian in there. I loved his character, the, the British guy. Definitely a fun character to have. And he was a little bit a different mix to your normal uh, cliche characters that you would get out of an 80s horror send-up film. So I really liked his character in there and his performance as well. I, I also liked the fact they threw in this idea of a robot, this foul-mouthed robot that they had in there who does something I never expected to see in in any independent horror film, uh, much less any film with a robot. So there's definitely a wild scene in here. Again, you get your uh, uh, your gratuitous nudity in here, just like you would get in the old 80s B-horror film. So you've got that in here. you got some great gore effects in here. Gore whores will like it. Hooray for some practical gore effects going on in this film. Love to see that. Really uh, helps add to that feel of the 80s horror style. And I enjoyed the story and the idea of Pork Chop. I think the only only thing that uh, kind of got to me was maybe a few of the perf uh, some of the dialogue in here and some of the story uh, character conflicts they had in here. Uh, you know what? I think they didn't need to go that route, but that was okay. Uh, you know, for what they were going for. So, but I, I just personally feel I didn't think they needed to go that route with some of the characters. Uh, but more importantly, I think this film could have trimmed it about 10 to 15 minutes and been better than it was. I really think that the uh, hour and a half. Uh, a run time didn't necessarily need to be that long and still get their idea across and be an entertaining film. While it didn't take away from my enjoyment, it did feel like there was a little bit of padding in some of those scenes. So, outside of that, Pork Chop was a fun uh, installment, and I, I really look forward to see how they develop and improve with the sequels, because this was one of their first times out with a full-length feature, and they do very well for their first time out. So check out Pork Chop if you can, uh, if you're a fan of the independent low-budget independent films uh, does, uh, done in an 80s style. They definitely capture that spirit of the 80s slasher film, though I think uh, it could have just been a little bit shorter and still been a solid and entertaining movie. And that'll about do it for us here at The Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stub.